gram, gram formula mass. In gram formula mass, we are looking for the mass of the molecule. We will often see numbers applied to certain molecules, like CO2 equals 44.01 for its GFM, or gram formula mass. Water, H2O, is equal to 18.02 for its gram formula mass. And ammonia, NH3, is 17.04 for its gram formula mass. But where do these numbers come from? How do you calculate gram formula mass? Well, let's start with a simple covalent molecule, nitrogen, dinitrogen pentoxide, N2O5. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a table of in information to help us find the gram formula mass. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to list the elements involved. So we have nitrogen and oxygen. Then we're going to get a count of the number of atoms involved in the molecule. There are two nitrogen atoms and five oxygen atoms. Then we're going to look up on the periodic table the gram mass or atomic mass unit of each of those elements. And we know that nitrogen is 14.01 and oxygen is 15.99. Multiplying the atoms, 2 times 14.01, the atomic mass unit, we get a mass of nitrogen in the molecule of 28.02. And using five atoms of oxygen at 15.99, we get a mass of 79.95. Then we, what we are going to do is we're going to add these two values together and get the total mass of the atoms involved in dinitrogen pentoxide, and that is 107.97 for its gram formula mass. Let's try another one. Aluminum hydroxide. In this case, again, we're going to start by listing our information. We have aluminum, which we have one atom of. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to understand that the three outside of the parentheses, we have to distribute the subscript to both of the elements inside the parentheses. And so therefore, three gives us three oxygen atoms and three hydrogen atoms. So in this case, when we multiply out the masses, 1 times 26.98, 3 times 15.99, and 3 times 1.01, we get the values 26.98 for aluminum, 47.97 for oxygen, and 3.03 .03 for the hydrogen. We will then again add these values together to get a grand total of the gram formula mass for aluminum hydroxide of 77.98. If I were given carbon tetrachloride, knowing this is a covalent molecule, I'm going to use the prefix tetra. And so therefore, the molecule is CCl4. In this case, I have one carbon atom. Carbon's AMU is 12.01. And four chlorine atoms, its AMU is 35.45. When we do the multiplication, we get 12.01 and 141.80. And this gives us a value, when we add the values together, of 153.81 for the gram formula mass of carbon tetrachloride. These are basic samples of how to accomplish or calculate the gram formula mass.